out of town. Where are you from? Ottawa. Ottawa? Where are you guys from? Right here? Yeah. New West or? She knows the other rooms in this area, and then I will lead you through the next half. How, how many days are going to 70 to 90 days, so about three months. It's pretty slow. Yeah, you can travel at a speed of 14 knots, which is about uh, 16 miles an hour, I think. Is it fast? Oh, just ignore that fax machine. Okay. <laughs> uh, was that donated by the, uh... No. <laughs> That's ours. That's kind of cool. Is this the mess hall? You bet. It's actually not that big, eh? pressure gradient and out of the boat. Now, in order to do this, there's a system of eight valves dark once we get outside. So, uh, out of all the colored lights on the boat, the red lights are the only ones that actually have a purpose. All the other colored lights are just for distinction and uh, decoration. Is this sonar, sonar in here? Sonar equipment, you bet. That's our uh, political officer's cabin there. You see he has uh, locks and alarms on his doorway. Anyone know what he does on board? Governor's board. Governor's the ship. Did you bring your own boat? You can't bring any personal possessions on board. Or very minimal personal possessions anyways. Well, more like a family photo and a toothbrush and a comb. That's about it. If we, unless we have shaved heads anyways. I have three meals a day for the 75 men on board. It's very small, very tight in there, so it would be very hot for those cooks if they're working an eight-hour shift over those hot electric stoves. And I hope you all like borscht, because that's all we're getting. And if you don't know what borscht is, it's cabbage and beet soup and garbage and wraps in a sheet of metal to sink it out of the boat. That way we can remain undetected. Now, the next space is the engine room. Please hang on to the railings and go down the stairs, because they are quite steep. Yep. Batteries? Oh, yeah. Battery power only lasts 60 days. Yeah, just uh, stop in that next space there in our engine room. This is our engine controls. engines when we're on the surface though because they need air to run. When we're submerged we'll use silent running electric motors and generators. They're located in the next space. At some point though our battery power will run out and we'll have to come up to the surface to recharge our batteries. This uh, takes only six hours to do and we'll have to come up every two or three to seven days or so. We can either run right on the surface to do this in which case our men can escape for a quick breath of fresh air or on the contrary have a cigarette. Um, or, sorry, I lost my spot in my speech here. <laughs> or if we want to keep our boat partially submerged, or partially hidden, we'll keep it submerged. We'll use our snorkel, which extends to 60 feet. We'll bring in air to the snorkel.
all the pistons of the engines, they stripped all the batteries, all the motors and generators so it would not operate. Any other questions before we go? Thank you very much for coming on that. Those are our lockers, by the way. Oh. Share those. Oops, sorry. Oh, no, go ahead. Not our lockers, the, the crew lockers. Yeah, sorry. And the idea, how, how old is the... Uh... A old submarine, 26 years old. But a lot of the equipment is 40, almost 50 years old. 